It's been a little bit since I've searched all over town for Pokemon cards. I wanna to go to a bunch of Targets and a bunch of Walmarts and places I haven't been today for a while and see what I can find. First up is Target. Let's go in there and see what they've got. Haven't been to this Target in a minute and they're actually looking pretty stocked up. Brilliant Stars 3 packs. I have 100% complete Brilliant Stars binder, but not Paradox Rift. So I'm gonna pick up this 3 pack. They've got some Yu-Gi-Oh, they've got some Magic. Oh, those boxes, I don't wanna open those. Some Pokemon Go is kinda random to see here, but let's check out the back of the store. They've got a whole bunch of figures here. I used to buy a whole bunch of these. I don't really know what to do with them anymore, but they're cool. They got the Squishmallows, which surprisingly are showing up a lot more. Some Jazzwares figures. Over in the electronics, they've got some different plushes though. These are really cool. It takes everything in me not to buy them all every time. I bet Breaking Nate has this Psyduck though. Maybe I should get it. I haven't been to this Walmart since I started the channel. And back then, they used to have a ton of cards. But at one point, they stopped selling them. So I stopped coming here to check. But it's been a while. So let's go inside see what they've got. Okay, I definitely should have been checking this Walmart. Look at those 151 mini tins. Grabbing some of those for sure. There could be Evolving Skies in that one there, but I'm not positive, so I'm just getting the tins. That was insane. I was not expecting that Walmart to be as stocked up as it was like that, because like I said, I thought they stopped selling cards, but some 151 mini tins is an awesome find. There's another Target I haven't been to in a while now. If, if that Walmart was stocked up, maybe this Target is. Let's go check over there. Okay, not as stocked up at this Target as I was hoping it would be. Looks like they've got some Lorcana here. And what's this? Is this an opened? This is an open tin, that's great. I think I've opened one of these boxes. Gonna skip this one here, but I want this other tin for my giant stacking tin wall. They've got some garbage pail kids here. Nothing too crazy. I think I'm just gonna grab this tin right here, but I gotta check the back. I really like these. I might end up grabbing each one of these little Mega Bloks things. They got the light up Pokeball. They've got the Charizard, the Bulbasaur. I gotta rescue this gigantic Teddy Ursa Squishmallow though. But I think I'm just gonna end up with the tin and a candy bar. Second target that I haven't been to in a while. Didn't find anything crazy at that last one, but I did want that tin. Let's see if this one has anything new. Okay, this one looks just like the old one. They got one bundle left here. Oh, and there's one tin left. You guys know the rule. I gotta get this tin, it's the last one. Some ETBs, kinda typical. They've got some tins here. Those weren't too bad. Are there any Charizard tins? No Charizard tins, I'll skip the Paldean Fates there. A bunch of these boxes are showing up again, which I think is way overpriced. Same old check lane blisters here. I think I'll just grab this last pack of Scarlet and Violet. In the back of the store though, check out the Jumbo Squish Malhos. The Pikachu, they've got some Funkos here too, but I just want the tin in this pack. Ended up at another Walmart here. This is gonna be the last store. They had the cards behind the counter, and for some reason they said they're gonna not sell cards anymore, and they had these marked down to $15 a piece. Let's take everything that I found today home and open it up. Back in the studio, guys, I actually can't believe I found those 151 mini tins. Those were like the hardest product to find when 151 came out. But let's start off with this one pack of Scarlet and Violet that was sitting there on the shelf. You guys know my rule. If there's one left, I have to buy it, except when it comes to bundles. I know there was like one Paradox Rift bundle left sitting there, but I definitely didn't need that one. But here we go. For every set today, there's a bunch of illustration rares that I need. So that's my main goal is just to get some illustration rares into the binder from these sets. Okay, that's fine. Nothing in that first pack there. Get the first uh, first pack bad luck out of the way. Let's start out with this, uh, this tin here. Had to add this to the stackable tower. I actually think it's really cool how they made all of these stack up like that. Let's pull the plastic off here. Can I? There we go. Now in here should be two obsidian flames and uh, actually I forget, two obsidian flames and a paradox? No, scarlet and violet base. Two obsidian flames, one scarlet violet base. Gonna get some stickers here too. Not really sure what to do with all these stickers. Let's set the tin aside for now and then later I'll put it on top of the tin, the stacking tin tower. I wonder how far they'll keep going with that. I wonder if they'll end up making like duplicates of different types, like if they'll make another fire tin, they'll make another water tin, and that thing's just gonna keep stacking until it hits my ceiling. But okay, another chance at Scarlet and Violet base here, and Magnazone EX. Definitely have a bunch of those already, but I'll drop you in a sleeve. 
Magnazone EX, if I can, bam, in the sleeve. Here we go, Obsidian Flames. I've hit all of the big Charizard chases out of this, but I still haven't pulled the Nine Tails. So I'd be really happy today with a Nine Tails, but I'd also be really happy pulling another Charizard. Can't complain, unless it's the regular EX. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have just said that. Meltan, Heat More. Okay, just a hollow in that one. If you guys have been watching the shows, for some reason, all I can pull Wow, just like destroyed that pack. All I can pull is the regular Charizard EX. So honestly, if, if it shows up today at all from any of the sets that it's in, I think there's three sets I'm opening today that it could be in. I'm really gonna laugh, here we go. But let's see, nothing out of this tin, Glimit, Boundsley, and Thunderous. Okay, striking out, just an EX so far. Let's get into these right here. Now this was really cool. The Walmart that I found these at said that they were about to stop selling Pokemon cards. So for some reason, I don't know why, uh, they discounted all of these down, like $5 off or so. I think these should have been about $20. They were 15. Now I know they make a, uh, a thicker version of this tin. This is the thin one here. In the thick one, there's uh, two Paldea, Silver Tempest, and oh, maybe Obsidian Flames. Let's see though if these are the same. Oh, okay, we got Paldea, Paldea, Scarlet and Violet, and Silver Tempest. Okay, so it wasn't Obsidian Flames, it was a Scarlet Violet base set here. Take all of the packs out of these tins. I think, uh, honestly, for 15 bucks, that's like probably the fair price for these tins. I think 15 is what they should be from the start. Maybe not 20. Let's get all of this out of the way. Okay, we'll start with this one here. Start with the Silver Tempest. I can't believe that I pulled the Lugia from a double hit pack. Whoa, what is that? From the last pack on the shelf at the CVS. Forget what the title of that short is, but if you guys see it, check it out. Oh, I missed the Yellow Borders. I miss the yellow border so much. I don't know, like I said, I like the silver border for the shiny hits, but not a big fan. Here we go. Oh, oh, look at that. It was stuck. There we go. Got a nice rainbow rare worker. Let's drop you into a sleeve. Can't remember if this one is in the binder or not. Gonna have to check. I wanna say that it's not. Bam, into the sleeve there. And okay, starting off a little better with these tins, especially for 15 bucks, not bad. 15 might still be a little more than the market price of all of the packs inside of these tins, but a deal is a deal. I'm always happy with a deal, but let's go. We've got another shot here at an illustration rare and nothing, nothing for the Scarlet base, but Paldea. I never pulled the Magic Carp. I really, really want to pull that Magic Carp. I think uh, I never even pulled the Raichu. What do I want to say? Maybe I'm thinking Obsidian for the Raichu or the Tyranitar. Let's keep going here though. I want to see that Magikarp today. That would be pretty awesome. Tandem Mouse, Practice Studio, and a Belly Bolt EX. Okay, I think Belly Bolt EX needs to go into the binder. I know I haven't pulled a lot from uh, Paldea. Bam, there we go. Last Paldea pack from the first uh, Maridon or the Karidon tin. I don't remember which way I set them out. Here we go though. Another shot at the Magikarp. Couple more shots today at Magic Cart, but I think I'm the most excited to open 151, especially those mini tins, because like I said, those were like the hardest to find when they first came out. Reverse, ah, reverse, and just a hollow. No Magic Carp in that tin, but the Silver Tempest had a rainbow. Not bad, I guess. One rainbow, one EX from that one. Let's see if this tin can do a little bit better. Let's see here. I like how they don't put a shiny border actually on the illustration rares because then you can't tell if it's in there. You get a nice surprise Dendra, ah, Combi, and Tinglu EX. I feel like this one is already in the binder, but that's okay. Drop it into a sleeve if I can. Bam, there we go. Paldea again. We'll end it with the silver. End it with the silver from this tin. I feel like uh, now that I have the Lugia in there, I probably should go back and really like finish that binder because I bet everything else is not that expensive. We got ah, reverse, no, another reverse, and just a hollow striking out. No magic carp today. Scarlet and violet base. Let's see. I think there's like honestly too many illustration rares in this set that I need for me to remember. We got Switch, Fue Coco, Tropius, Pokeball, Rocky Helmet, Mobastiff, Oink Alone, we can't oink together, Greedent, oh, another reverse, 
and a hollow. Okay, there's the code for you. And Silver Tempest from the Maridon Coridon tins, which I don't know, I guess it's worth checking some Walmarts. That was like a really big Walmart too. I'm really surprised that they were no longer selling cards. I didn't really think it was a big deal anymore. Like it was too hard for the stores to deal with selling Pokemon cards. We got a Radiant Serena hiding a Hisuian Lilligant, very off center. That's okay, Radiant Serena, I guess. I guess you can go into the sleeve. Bam, here we go. And I almost forgot, almost, almost forgot this one here. The Paradox Rift three pack. I don't know if I did any three packs for Paradox Rift. I feel like, uh, let's drop all that out there. I feel like I didn't open that much Paradox Rift at all. Here's the code for you. Lost in here is the promo. Bam. I like these uh, Cosmo promos here. The Cosmo pattern on there. And three packs of Paradox Rift. I used to always say that my best hits came from the three packs. And I feel like I definitely hit some alt arts. I think I hit the alt art uh, Machamp from Astral Radiance from the three packs. But haven't done a full booster box worth of three packs in a while. Wismer, uh, and just the hollow. Hollow Palkia. Let's see though if this one can turn it around. I didn't hit any of the big alternate art chases from Paradox Rift. I think like maybe one. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a hollow border or I'm seeing something better. Let's see, I have a feeling it's just the hollow border. Well, we've got the reverse, reverse. And it was just a hollow border. It was just a hollow border. Last pack from the three pack. Come on, it can't be totally empty. There can't be completely nothing inside this three pack. Oh no. I think I just see a hollow border again. We got Tandem Mouse, we got Toad Scroll, Technical Machine, Durant, Slither Wing, Purloin. No illustration rares today. What is going on? Okay, got all the bad luck out of the way. Two 151 mini tins, one Paldean Fates mini tins, because I just can't stop. I gotta, I gotta try to pull that Charizard. Let's start off with uh, this 151 mini tin here. Where did the trusty box cutter go? They put these ones on a little bit better. You can't uh, just like push the plastic off of them. There we go. Two packs of 151 inside the Machamp mini tin. There we go. Got a nice fighting coin, very cool. A little card art with Machamp on it and two packs of 151. Probably, you know what's really surprising? I'm Kanto Kurt and I think I opened the least, I think 151 is the set I've opened the least from Scarlet and Violet, which is kind of crazy. I need to go out and just finish it, just trade and pick up all the singles that I'm missing. But honestly, because I need so much in the binder still, almost anything would be a nice hit today. But I'm not gonna say it out loud. You know what I'm looking for. Poliwhirl, Weedle, and a Moltres Hollow. Okay, nothing in that first pack. Second pack here. I think I've only opened like maybe one. Can't remember if I opened any of these mini tins on the channel. Here we go, Zubat. We got Goldeen, Nidoran, Ghastly, Arcanine, Kingler, Snorlax, uh, Butterfree, Reverse, Bills Transfer, Reverse, and Hollow Ditto for that second rare there. Let's get this tin out of the way. Okay, let's get into this Paldean Fates. And this is what I meant. These ones you can kind of just really easily push them off. That's weird. Let's open this up right here. I guess, yeah, the Mew is pretty crazy. I was about to say I haven't hit anything crazy from Paldean Fates yet, but that's not true. I did pull the Mew EX alternate art. There's a big one that I still need. Let's see if it can happen today. Can it happen? We're starting with the greatest Pokemon of all time at the front of the pack, Haunter. There's gotta be something good in this one then. There's gotta be like at least a shiny. We've got the Calive. Curlia, oh no, Charmander reverse, no, Barboach reverse. Okay, okay. I don't know why they, they had to do that to me, starting with Haunter and then giving me nothing in that pack. Second pack here, I have heard a lot of people say that they feel the mini tins are just brutal this time around though, but we'll see. We'll see, I'll end up opening a lot more Paldean Fates. We've got Atticus and Don Fan. oh, first reverse. Oh no, it's just, Okay, that's fine. Reverse Haunter, that's fine. And a Fortress EX. Okay, I think, yeah, my mini tin luck for Paldean Fates hasn't been very good. Fortress EX going into the pile. And here we go. The last tin, the Scyther tin. Let's just cut down the back of this one here. 
some more 151. This is making me want to go out though and like find a bunch more 151 and rip it open. Let's get these packs out here. I should maybe just, uh, I don't know, maybe just trade. I should just trade and finish the binder. Last two packs, guys. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. Ooh, here we go. Krabby, Sand True, Seal, Ratata. We got Hitmonchan, Sea King, Butterfree. Oh, just a reverse. Come on. Come on. Another reverse. And the Mew EX. I feel like I did need this one in the binder. So that's, that's a win. I'll count that as a small very very small win let's drop the mu ex into a sleeve i always pick up the sleeves the wrong way there we go bam mu ex i guess got the mu alt art ex last pack magic here last pack magic for 151 come on at least an illustration rare at least an illustration rare here we go rhyhorn we got tangela coughing psyduck sea king butterfree Oh, Lapras. It's just a reverse. Star you. Gyarados. Ah, and just a Golem EX for the last rare. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, drop a sub. I post new ones every week. But until then, be safe, have fun, keep collecting, and check out one of these older videos right here.